Welcome to this Stay Rolling video. Alclonex is rolling. We have seen maybe videos about it when we press Ctrl Alt T. It doesn't give us a number anymore. There is no version. But there is something called what ISO did you start with, right? So the command ISO is at this point not yet there. So that's an alias. Now, the information about stay rolling or, or the idea behind stay rolling is that you never ever install Arc Linux again. You just say update, update, reboot, update, reboot, update, reboot all the way for the coming years, right? So stay rolling is the idea of Arch Linux, of course, on which we're based. And this video and every time when we release an ISO and this well, this is our fourth work year, so we have three years of releases and on our fourth work year, starting always in September till July and August is, is holiday for us, you get bi-monthly releases. So September is a release, October nothing, November release, December nothing, January release and so on. Now, if you download something, an ISO, and you, you do a clean install, you need to update always, right? But uh, this is then an installation based on Article Linux uh, 20.7.5, I think it was. And are there updates? Sure, always. This is typical Arch Linux, right? So if you're not used to it, uh, maybe working with uh, Debian or Solz or anything else, it's a lot of updates, always, and we're used to it. But it might come as a surprise, right? So they want to change some things here, replace bind tool, extra bind. So that's a change of name. Always say yes, because heck, what do we know, right? So this is Arch Linux changing applications and names and fine, you say. This is the update for, let's say, beginning of July till, well, 7 September. It costs us 1.1 gigabyte of download size, 4.3 when we unpack it, but basically 128 megabytes is different. So it's not that much net upgrade size, but download volume, of course, that's big. Now, sometimes things happen in these updates. Um, there are some things you should know on any operating system, and sometimes I can explain them and sometimes they're all good. But there is something called Arch Linux Keyring. So let's open something else. Minus S. There is something called Arch Linux, right? Just remember it starts with Arch Linux and then you press tab. And Arch Linux Keyring is the way to um, sign and make sure that packages are in order, that they are signed by people who we trust. And in the meantime, we see something we can explain later on. Really? He jumped, skip, he jumped from uh, one server to the other. So this one was momentarily down, uh, or it was too slow, and he jumps to the second server. So everything is cool, everything is set up. If the Arch Linux servers do not work, he'll just take a second one, third one, fourth one, 20 of them. So explaining mirrors is also important. But the key rings, we're talking about key rings. So this thing might be an issue if you have lots and lots of updates coming in because he's going to check package a is it signed yes package b is it signed no ah then first you need to install the arch on this gearing and then you know he will know the sign uh, keys the sign keys and then finally yes you can update right but in this case you see the video here um, nothing to sign we're already installing these are the keys i'm talking about right these are the keys Arch Linux keyring, but it didn't stop or update. It just goes on, which is cool. The other thing we're discussing is the mirror. Well, mirror is making sure there is this one and there is four of them and a little bit different. So if one doesn't work, use the other one, mirror A, mirror D and mirror S. I won't type them. They're all in there. Where are they? They are in the bash RC. Do take a look at all our aliases. They're interesting. And here's the mirror list. Right? But 
there's also something called Ctrl Alt W, right? Ctrl Alt W, and it says here a big button update Arch Linux mirrors, which is maybe something you'd like to just press and then it's done. Let's go and have a look. It's still updating. What uh, needs to be said about updating? Well, I do all, everything in a terminal. You could do it via PAMAC AUR. That's a graphical environment that comes from Manjaro. And it's interesting, right? You can click and unclick things. But I suggest you to start learning terminal anyway, because if you want to work on Linux, you kind of well, need to do that. A lot of information is written in here. All the developers and 95% comes from somebody else, right? Arco Linux is based on Arch Linux and AUR and a little bit of stuff, but a lot of work <laughs> from Arco Linux. And sometimes you see these messages from us. The files have been installed to etc scan. The files have been installed to etc scan. The files have been installed to etc scan. This is your warning. This is your red light. Oh. I need to run the command scale, but do not just run it. Go and have a look on articlinux.com, see what scale really does. It's simple, really, but it has a consequence, right? It's going to copy paste over. Well, first, it's going to make a backup. So everything is safe, but it's a backup, right? With a date and a year, a month. But it's going to copy paste everything from etc scale to your home directory. Meaning all the new stuff we created will go on there. And with a scale, you're just pumping everything over and the new elements and new text in this case, just a few hours ago, I made a change in open box. It's there. Simple as that. Four letters, but things might have changed in the sense of icons and themes and stuff like that, because these are our icons. These is our theme. So those have been overwritten if you changed it. So stay rolling is interesting, but take a look at scale. There is also other things you ha can have a look at. Uh, backup scale is a good alias to, to have a look. Backup scale. So see what that does. Lots of videos. So basically, we're now up to date. We're rolling, right? Updates. Let's have a look again. Update is updating Arch Linux and Arco Linux. Now, if you have installed something from the AUR that we do not have, now is the time to update it. And here, these two guys have been orphanaged. So yeah, we need to do something. We don't need this one anymore. Our network manager, this one can be deleted. So we'll put that in the stay rolling script. What am I talking about? Stay rolling script. What's this? Control H. We have a bin folder. Stay rolling. 2020. This is how to stay rolling from June to July. So I'll make a new folder from 2007 to 2009. The only thing I'll do for now is sudo pacman minus R. Remove the network dispatcher. Don't need it anymore. Now the quantum theme arc is orphaned as well, and that's too bad. And we created our own quantum theme arc. So that can go as well, minus R, quantum theme arc. You're out. If you tie them up all, there you are. There is, this is the normal look, right? This is, if you type up all, this should be uh, the normal look, and you know everything's up to date. Now the quantum that we have created, we should get that back again. Arco Linux, if you said tap, 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 yeah, with a P and a V, right? You'll see 149 possibilities. So in here is the quantum package. I'm just thinking, what's the name again? So sudo pacman minus s arco linux quantum theme arcit that's the name so the only thing i've done is add in front arco linux 
quantum theme art kit. And this is the theme we want, we need, not the one from the AOR, which is orphaned anyway, but we have our own packages. We won't put stuff on AOR anymore, we'll put everything in our system. It's in our repos. Well, that's why we have repos, right? So now we have um, this back coming from our own article links repo. And basically, that's it for this video. I mean, I have to make two uh, removals and one extra installation. And that's that. You'll have a beautiful system. Thinking if I've forgotten anything, well, um, I haven't mentioned in this video that if you see things like Linux, or let's let's see, let's show you. If you see anything called Linux minus S Linux, we have four kernels to test that. So if you have problems with webcams and microphones and Bluetooth sets, I don't know, lots of hardware stuff, try out a different Linux kernel or a different Linux kernel, or a different Linux kernel. So we have at least four to try out. And my point was just, you don't need to try them out, only if you have hardware problems. But the thing is, if you see Linux or systemd or anything like it, then we do sudo reboot, so that the new kernel can kick in. And there is a shortcut, sudo reboot or sr putting back up and we'll have the latest Linux kernel available. Now, if Linux kernels give you trouble, which can happen, so we have four alternatives, which is okay, it's cool, right? But, and then I really say I need to stop because I can keep talking. You can also downgrade any package. In this case, we're talking about Linux. It can always say, no, this kernel isn't working for me. I'm going back to well, way back if you want to. Just curious how far back we can go to 4.20, right? And try that one out. Maybe that won't have uh, issues with your hardware. It's more stable, no glitching, stuff like that. All right, I'm out. I think I've told you everything. We've done a scale, we've done a poll. Yeah, we're there. This is how you stay rolling. Doesn't say anything. Uh, maybe the ISO, aha, we can still explain something. There is the ISO that's not working. I have to think, why is that? Let's have a look together. So we have a bash RC, which is super important. Lots of stuff is in here. Control find ISO. Here you are. There is the alias ISO. Give me the version of etc devrel yes and devrel has been created on the iso it's not in a package so if you don't do a clean install you won't see it so the iso command isn't working so you can say okay whatever uh, it's not important it's just a file that says hey this is coming from 19, uh, sorry, 20.92. That's all it says. So it's not needed. And um, I'm not gonna include it in the video. Let's not make things more complicated than they are. It's on the GitHub, an Arch Linux, you can see what kind of file it is. It's three lines saying, hey, this Arch Linux, it is, this is the ISO number and that's the date we created it. It's nothing more. It's not relevant to your operating system. So stay rolling, guys, you won't see it unless you create a file in etc devrel there, which is, like I said again, super unimportant. All right, enjoy our colleagues, stay rolling and stay safe. Cheers.